An absolutely cutthroat competitor. Here comes Dakota Kai. Looking ready to assert her control. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing damage control from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai. A world traveled competitor has taken her game to the next level since joining damage control. Well, some would say Kai's got a questionable attitude. But besides that, she's proven she will do anything to win. Well, and now she has even more help in the form of damage control. The Hall of Fame, Glamazon. And from Buffalo, New York, the Glamazon, Beth Phoenix. Well, the Glamazon looks to be in a bad mood. It is safe to say that the Glamazon has inspired generations of superstars here in WWE. I think it's safe to say that Beth Phoenix is no longer interested in inspiring. She just wants to reestablish dominance. She's also got bigger biceps than you, Saxton. Oh, wait, I haven't messed with mine lately. Man, look at those piercing eyes. The Glamazon is on a seek and destroy mission tonight. Dakota Kai ready for action here tonight. Some have called Kai one of the most treacherous superstars in the entire women's division. Well, it sounds like some people need to take a look in the mirror, Cole. Dakota Kai is only as faithful and loyal as others are to her. There's nothing inherently treacherous about doing whatever it takes to win. Some would call it smart. Call it whatever you want, Corey, but it still means Dakota is a dangerous force. It's Canadian. Now the backbreaker. This is excruciating. Oh, what an escape. Shot. She's got to be careful here. The referee will count her out. Oh, man. Turns that into a devastating shot to the knee. Arm system. Look at these series of boots. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Look at these Kawada style kicks to the face. Smashing the face right into the ground. It's her devastating kicks that helped Dakota Kai make a name for herself in this industry. Corey, should we expect her to rely on those same skills to win this match? Well, if Kai's smart, she'll use every trick she has up her sleeve, Cole, because the word is out, and every opponent will be prepared for the captain of team kick. So Kai needs to diversify and use her entire arsenal of offense to really get the better of her opponent. Oh my gosh! What a fisherman suplex! A whole ring in between them and a collision in the corner. the offense with a clubbing strike. Watch her set up in the corner. Quick sidestep by Beth. Kick ring to the body. Cover. She breaks the count quick. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Uh. Oh. Just listen to the shots being traded between these two ladies. I think she's getting out of dodge. 
and the fans are loving this, but not happy with the fact that she's going to retreat and just leave the match. Uh, I don't think she's going to get very far, guys. Uh, whoa. Whoa. She took the bait and paid for it. The superstar was lured into the trap. Yeah, the sucker fell for the bait. Right to the kidneys from behind. Oh, an incredible sit-up mat slam. Oh. Oh, and Beth fight. Canadian. Oh, backbreaker. That's a pretty unique move. right to the midsection. Probably not going to win for a couple hundred years, Byron. You know why? Because the Billy Goats agonizing hole. Got to find a way out, and they do. Ooh, man. Re-entering the ring now. And Kai showcasing that attitude that's made her such a threat. She's getting herself in the zone, but she shouldn't hesitate much longer. Lots of emotions in the ring right now. There's a score to be settled here. I'm not so sure things can be settled in a single match where these superstars are concerned. Yeah, things have only gone from bad to worse between them. Kai scales all the way up top. Oh, look out! From the top with the splash! She just will not go away. No. Oh, they clutch their opponent's wrist, and look at this. And now a series of stomps and kicks. Turned that one around. Russian leg sweep. Across the small of the back. In position. Ready to... Uh-oh. Denied and reversed into a DDT. Oh! Suicide dive! That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. Blow after blow. Hit after hit. Somehow these women just keep going. Their drive, their will to keep fighting can't be extinguished. She goes back inside the ropes. Some mental. All right, snapping her back to reality. This isn't a pose off. Is really out of it. She might be done soon. Oh, she counters right back on Kai. Defenses are sharp in this series of. We'll put a Kai with the the chiropractor. Wow. This could put a stop to Beth. Two. What a kick out at two. It was almost all over for her. It does not get much closer to three than that. And the disappointment is written on Kai's face. Dominating shoulder tackle. The WWE Universe is showing their appreciation for the action they're seeing. Uh-oh. She anticipated that one. Lifted into the fireman's carry. Launched into a roundhouse kick. Saw it coming. Responds with a counter. Hoist it up. Oh, right across the solar plexus. shape right now but they have to be feeling good after that win i'll give them one thing 
They definitely know how to take a beating. I wouldn't exactly call the cheap shot they took a beating, but I'll agree that their resilience paid off here. The damn Dudleys at it again. Oh, baby, we are about to get extreme. The following contest is a tag match set for one thumb on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 595 pounds. The WWE. You know, Street Smarts has a different meaning when you're from Dudleyville. Yeah, it's not like the easy streets of Burke, Virginia. Timeless brutality, broken bodies, carnage, and debris everywhere. If there is an advantage to be found, the Dudleys will find it. They will use it, they will exploit it, and they will leave you laying. And their opponents at a combined weight of 472 pounds. Tony D'Angelo and Channing Lorenzo, the D'Angelo family. Tony and Stax have each taken an oath to the D'Angelo family. If you mess with the family, you pay the price. The Don and his underboss are united in their goals and their tactics. One of the top teams to come out of NXT. They are a danger on any brand. Here we go, all set to see the D'Angelo family firm tighten their grip on the WWE Tag Team Division. Yeah, Cole, but the harder you grip, the easier it is for things to slip through your fingers. There are a lot of teams hoping to knock Tony D and Stax off their game and take control for themselves. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, and family needs to be as much bite as they are bark. I expect we'll see all the bite they have to give here tonight. And across the ring are the Dudley boys, icons of the tag team scene. The Dudleys have wreaked havoc and won titles everywhere they've gone in their career. With them in the ring, this thing is sure to get ugly and delightfully vicious in a hurry. Yeah, with the Dudleys, it's not a question of if they'll tear this place apart. It's only a question of when. Oh, and a reversal. That'll rearrange the spine. Right into that turbo. Oh, an overhand punch. Oof. Shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. Drop kicked all the way to the floor. Alley oop makes the cover. Strong kick out there. These men knew this match is going to be hard fought.
Draped upside down in a tree of woe. Devon gets intercepted. He made the tag. Cooking with gas now. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Getting carried around. Bad spot to be in. No, someone called dentist. Compromised position here. Beat the side. Jeez. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Left by the turnbuckles. Don Stax fights back. Headlock applying a nice short jab to the bridge of the nose. Shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. This their opponent's uh -oh. legs is... Oh. Ouch! That's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. So much damage inflicted. God! Ugly but effective counter. Foot to the face. Nicely countered with a hard-hitting DDT. Isolating the leg! Leg breaker! Uh-oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. Uh-oh. Great wherewithal on the counter. He got whipped into that corner. could save Bubba Ray from that attack. The competitor in D'Angelo coming through here. Oh, and then the chest as well. <laughs> Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. In full control here, face first. Uh-oh. Had that one scouted. He's able to fend off the attack. And that was a well Can he score the pin? Oh, uh, maybe. Pushes through after two. He really thought that was it. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Here's a cover. He narrowly avoids the count. Somehow, some way. Look at the fire in the eyes of these competitors. They've clearly been waiting for this match. Always interesting to watch rivals clash. You can just feel the tension in the air. Fighting out. Hammered away with punches to the face. Oh, this is just disrespectful. Clean tag for his partner. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. He is just reeling from that offense. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Oh, uncorked a big punch. Uppercut. Oh, he's got him in deep, deep trouble here. Look out. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Slight shot right across the back of the neck. Ouch. What a boot. In off the tag. And Tony didn't see that coming. Oh, man, he has fired up now. D'Angelo one step ahead. Yvonne now has the opponent set up. The saving grace. D'Angelo down, and he might be out. The ref caught the brunt of that. Get ready, Saxton. You might be the replacement.
Yvonne Dudley heads up high. That's a forearm that'll floor you. Now's the time to find that second win. Find that rush of adrenaline to push you forward. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Both men now on the apron. This is a scary situation. Are you kidding me? Off the apron to the floor. Attack from behind. Neck breaker. Whip back into the ring. for both athletes. The ring apron. Are you kidding me? Off the apron to the floor. Bubba Ray, body here. And Bubba hits the Bubba cutter. Cutter, did Bubba Ray clinch this? Oh, kicks out, kicks out. He is just barely still in the fight. I don't know how many more times he's going to be able to kick out after that. That was too close for comfort. And the heaviest hitter in the arsenal was not enough. Able to get there in time. Boom, running it into the cover. Oh. Kicking out in time. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Sent into the corner. Torturous focus on the leg. Ooh. Here he comes off the tag. Oh, right in there. Oh, face first. We might be close to the end. He can really stand to get back as good as he's getting right up. I've been waiting for him the whole time. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. A oh, kick to the stomach. Look at this. And a big knee drop. Feels like it's Makes over for Bubba. These superstars must be feeding off the WWE Universe. This place is starting to rock. In the corner. Big boot to the gut and a thunderous forearm to follow. Oh, just gouging the face. That's not right. He's on his heels a bit now. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? After a string of counters. Booming boot. What a punch. And Bubba is counter. What do they have planned here? Wicked knee lift. Tagged into action. A trampling. Caught with a punch. Textbook scoop slam. Nicely done. Tag is registered. Uh oh. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. Placed into the corner. Oh, and an uppercut. Kind of off the tooth. Hung out to 
dry. Tagged in. Look out! A high angle, German. He's looking a little weary now. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic Whoa. enough, Cole? Back suplex, spine crushing, and clearly stooping low with that attack. Vicious right forearm. Breaker. Look at this, just stop after stop after stop. This place is going insane. The ground beneath my feet is shaking. Resto County close to calling it. Hurry back in. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Comes out on top in this tag team match. A count-out win is still a win. The winner looks a bit let down that this is the way the match ended. Perhaps they should have tried to break the count at the end there. Burn the ships. Baron Corbin is raring for a fight. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The lone wolf mentality is back. No one's safe. The following contest is a tag match set for one fall. Introducing first from Kansas City, Weighing in at 285 pounds, Baron Corbin! Once again, Corbin has redefined himself. Free of nicknames and fancy outfits, here's to separating the men from the boys. You have to respect it. He's at the top of his game right now. Accomplished so much in his young career. Won the Money in the Bank ladder match. Former Golden Gloves boxing champion, NFL offensive lineman, turned champion in WWE. One of the UK's best exports. And his partner from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates! Tyler may be all smiles backstage, but he brings the fight when it counts. A yeah, man has been proud to represent an entire generation on a continent. He's proud of his past in the United Kingdom and Europe, but now he looks to conquer the world.
He's a big, strong boy. Imagine what the future holds for this incredible young superstar. This is, this is Cena, as we saw him at WrestleMania 30. What a night that was. Cena versus and Bray Wyatt. From West Snowbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! Flashing back to WrestleMania 30, this has to stir up memories for Cena. Yeah, you're right, Corey. Memories of a difficult match and a time of internal conflict for the franchise. Being forced to confront his recent past, Cena has to be discombobulated right now. I think that's the intent of these mind games, to make Cena question what happened back at WrestleMania 30. Question if he did the right thing. I don't believe it. The Doctor of Thugonomics is back. All right. Cena's kicking it old and school. From West Snowbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 248 pounds, John Cena. The ever rhyming, always shining, constantly deriding John Cena. An iconic relic of John's past, but is he as happy to see it as we are? Whatever his feelings might be, Cena's about to teach a lesson in basic thugonomics. And we are locked and loaded for this tag team matchup. Ready for the challenge, we see Baron Corbin and Tyler Bate. And across the ring, the team they're ready to face off with, John Cena and John Cena. Both sides in this match know the tag team competition. This could be it, cover. Only a one count before the kick out. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. He had it scouted back and forth from these competitors. Uh-oh. Hey, Corbin may have felt that coming. Looking wobbly in the corner. Uh-oh. Corbin gets stymied. John Cena up to the middle row. Just in time. Close fist connects. He knew that was coming. And look at for a bad suplex. Very nice. What a shot. That offense might have rocked the confidence of Baron. And Cena with some big time hard hitting offense. Into the suplex. Into cover. It's 
John Cena leading the team to victory. Yeah, now we're talking. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, Weighing in at 225 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Chris Eric O. The tension building for this match is so thick you can cut it with a knife. A lot of drama involved with this one. The champ planning to show his dominance in this division with an emphatic win tonight. The nightmare has returned. We thought Bray Wyatt had controlled this part of his psyche, but we were wrong. The Fiend is back. This entity known as the Fiend has seemingly become invulnerable. A two-time Universal Champion. I challenge you to find anyone in the business with more effective mind games than the Fiend.
The Fireflies remain, but this version of Bray Wyatt is completely detached from the WWE Universe. And that makes him even scarier because The Fiend will stop at nothing in his quest to spread fear throughout the WWE Universe. An absolute master of mind games, almost impervious to pain, nothing can stop The Fiend. The original, the official, the only club that matters. And at a combined weight of 505 pounds, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, the OC. The most dominant club in the world, marching towards the pinnacle of their collective careers. Scanning the scene in the ring tonight, and the OC is looking to start up a fight. There's no escape, and that's for sure. Always looking for war. That's the bell, and the OC is here, set for action. There are really no egos in the OC, guys. They love to fight and then have a good time outside the ring. That's what happens when you spend as much time making money and making towns as these dudes have, Cole. All that matters after that is the company you keep and the... Hold on a second. You might be finding a submission hold here. Stunning this book. He needs to find an escape prop. Nice. Catches Gallows with a big counter. Hooked up. DDT. And he goes for the pin. And he powers out. Very close. Fatigue clearly setting in. Got their opponent set up. Oh, drop kick to the back. Ah, oh, big height on that moonsault. Yeah, Gallo's old school mentality challenge there. Wait, 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 wait! Getting the shoulder up before two. Starting to see the tolls of this match add up. There's press, hammer it away! That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. Ah, what a smash! That is just insulting. Tag is made, and here we go. Shifts it back onto him. Carl awards that attack off. Knew what was coming there. Many heel kick, cover, cover. And he breaks the count quickly. Keeping a loss at bay for now. Catches them with a jawbreaker. And he sends him into the corner. Oh, draping double axe handle. Teamwork making the dream work right here with that display. Hoist it up. Hard landing on the gut. There's a tag. Oh, 
man. Shot right to the midsection. That was that chemistry you cannot teach. And we just and he goes for the pin. No a kick out. He's still in this. And that prevents any offense from Carl. The oh, wicked kick to the lower back. He deflects it right back. Carl Anderson sees the opportunity to go high. Soaring. Boom, oh, what impact. Oh, a flying forearm on the mark. Bam! Down he goes. Beautiful sent on. Carl just getting knocked around. Carl certainly being tested here. DDT! Uh-oh. Half and half suplex. Lights out. Right to the knee. Reverse. Oh, look at the backflip. He's struggling a bit here. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. Able to give him the slip. Placed in the corner. Double big back body drop. Tandem offense in effect. A good team knows how to truly work as one. Thunderous power slam. Cover! He forces a break before the count of two. I didn't think this match was close to over. Strong Whoa. kick. My goodness. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Face full of turnbuckle. Luke retaliates. Tag is made. Looks like we're in for a little double team offense. Whoa! Back suplex into a neck breaker. They finish each other's sentences. They finish each other's moves. That's tag team excellence right there, gentlemen. Fire uppercut. That'll cost some teeth. Jarring impact. Now he's been put on the defensive. Yeah, very motivated Anderson in front of us. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Fez Press raining down right hands. Tagging his partner in now. Oh, flying forearm. That'll turn your lights out. Lands the knee. Uh-oh. Dropped on the face. Great counter. Uh-oh. Hazardous part of town here. On the apron. On the apron. The hardest part of the ring. Enough's enough. It would have been great to see a pinfall or submission win here. Quite a shame it ended by countout.
Coming down from on high. Wow. One of the very best to ever do it. Shawn Michaels. Making his way to the ring from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 227 pounds, the WWE European Champion, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels! The passion that Shawn Michaels has for this business is truly indescribable. Being in the ring is heaven on earth to him. Michaels loves this industry. He loves the competition. He loves the fans. And they love him back. He's given so much, done so much, and the fans thank him for it. Don't blink or you'll miss Nathan Frazier. And his opponent from Jersey in the Channel Islands, weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan Frazier! One of the best young high flyers in all of WWE. Yeah, but Frazier's also shown his grappling skills in winning the NXT Heritage Cup, a truly well-rounded athlete. He flew across the world as a teenager to train with Seth Rollins. Now he's set to follow in his mentor's footsteps. The heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels, confident as ever as this match gets underway. Most likely because he knows that perhaps more than anyone else in WWE, he can truly back that confidence up. As far as Michaels is concerned, it's always the main event when he's in the ring. And we'll see if he's ready for the aerial style of Nathan Frazier, a man whose high-flying abilities have earned him quite a reputation in the WWE already. I don't know if you can fully prepare for the style of Frazier Saxton. He possesses such tremendous speed and agility. We've seen a lot of competitors struggle just to keep up. Stretching and tearing at all the ligaments in the leg. Oh, oh a stop to the belly welly. Striking down with the axe handle. And it looked like his opponent found an answer for Frazier's offense. Michaels coming at him with incredible intensity. Oh, oh and suplex! What a counter! Shawn Michaels has been the proverbial five-tool player for his entire career. What is the thing you have to watch out for the most against someone like HBK? Adaptability. Shawn's lasted so long because he's able to think on the fly. The ring's a natural environment to him, and it's very hard to surprise him. But if you pin him in a corner and keep the pressure on, you can wear him down and keep things in your wheelhouse. Oof, that can knock you out. Shoulders down. An emphatic victory. So perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this win. Not every high risk leads to a high reward, and Nathan Frazier is living proof with this loss.
Blair Davenport, the self-proclaimed scourge of the women's division. Yeah, a mix of gothic charisma and cold-hearted fury. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Wellington, New Zealand, Blair Davenport. Always looking to make a statement of superiority and viciousness. Exerted her dominance as one of the top women in NXT UK and is now looking to take over all of WWE. So you need to have the match of your life. Charlotte is all the natural talent in the world. She's done it all. So you got to be at 100% to beat her. One win will change it all for her career. We are about to bear witness to the queen. Listen, here is a truly generational talent. There's no doubt about that. And from the queen city, the Divas champion, Charlotte Flair. Well, I just checked the weather here and the forecast calls for greatness. Charlotte Flair is one of the greatest female superstars of all time. In serious conversation, to be the GOAT. Yeah, look at all the record title reigns. Look at all the main events. Look at all the firsts. The history books were made for someone of Charlotte Flair's caliber. Whether you like it or not, no one can measure up to Charlotte Flair. She was bred for this business and has become the absolute pinnacle. She really is the biggest challenge there is in this women's division. And when it comes to Charlotte, no one is more deserving of the hype that follows them. Plenty of superstars talk about being the very best, but Charlotte has always done that and backed it up in the ring. Without a shadow of a doubt, Flair's accomplishments speak for themselves, and Charlotte looks to remind everyone about them. And opposite her, oozing frightening intensity is Blair Davenport. This menacing superstar always climbs into the ring with nothing but bad intentions in mind. Seen by some as a scourge of the women's division, Blair Davenport is not afraid to cause her opponent's lasting bodily harm. In fact, I go as far as to say she enjoys inflicting as much punishment as possible. Ah, oh, stops the legs. And that has Blair searching for answers. Charlotte showing an aggression that won't be contained. Well placed, knees to the hamstring. Every strike more devastating than the last. What a response from Davenport. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. One response after another, back and forth we go. Ah, oh, Charlotte caught by the counter. Back body drop. Charlotte is such a deliberate, methodical superstar. Loves to break a pump. No! Suicide dive! Like a heat-seeking missile, hit the target right on the mark. Yeah. Oh! Swinging neck breaker! 
Well scouted by Charlotte. Charlotte just rubbing it in. That'll teach her to waste precious time in the ring. Got the front face lock applied. Nice suplex. Hooked up. Now oh, look at the power. Side slam. Quickly the cover. Barely kicks out. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. That kick will stop you in your tracks. She saw that one coming. Being carried around with ease. Oh, man, taking it to the trachea. She's showing signs of slowing now. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Ah, the knee right to the face. a counter. Dangerous position with your feet tied up like that. She's fighting back. Consequences of getting caught unprepared. Just goes to show you, you've got to be on your toes at all times. The Scottish Warrior has arrived. A multi-time world champion and a Royal Rumble winner. And to this day, one of the toughest fighters in WWE. McIntyre has summoned the WWE Universe to aid him in battle along his passionate journey to fulfill his destiny atop WWE. Here comes one of the most powerful brawlers in WWE history. This is going to be good. And his opponent from Warner Robins, 
Georgia, weighing in at 275 pounds, From college football Hall of Famer to WWE Hall of Famer, his entire career has been based on dominance. He can't make a mistake or McIntyre will dissect him. He's got to have a flawless game plan here tonight. One thing you have to respect about Drew McIntyre is his unshakable confidence. Every time he heads to the ring, he does so knowing he's got all the courage and strength he needs to win the match. It's an attitude that served him well and maybe the ticket to him grabbing another win here. And then we have Farouk. Don't let his reputation for crushing cold ones and robbing people blind at the card table fool you. When Farouk gets in the ring, he flips that switch and puts his incredible physicality to work, demolishing his opponents. I've got one word to describe. Kamora, the Kamora. A uh, Kamora lock. He is doing whatever he can to break the Kamora, and he does. All the way up. Sidewalk slam delivered. Hits him with the counter. Vicious right forearm. Farouk gets reversed. Boom! What a right! Hooked. Belly to belly, way overhead. And here's a cover. One, two, no, he pops the shoulder before three. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? Drew McIntyre is always willing to drag his opponents to hell and back for the victory, no matter who he's facing. That has to be a concern of his opponent here tonight, Corey. Now, of course, it's going to be a concern, Cole, but just accepting that and facing McIntyre head-on could change the outlook of this match. If you can drag McIntyre into those depths before he has a chance to realize it, you should catch him off guard. Laid out with a power slam. And shoulders are down. Gets the shoulder up. Wow. What's it going to take? He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Clubbing blows. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Great counter. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. And McIntyre on the receiving end again. Good strategy against McIntyre here. Taking the match deep before the Scottish Warrior has a chance to. Wow, belly to belly. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Oh, enough already. Impact. Vicious right forearm. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh Farouk counters. Ooh, stiff punch. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Planted with a neck breaker. Sidewalk slam. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. And McIntyre's aggression seemingly growing with each attack. McIntyre gets away from that. And he slides him back to the mat. Let's go, kiss. McIntyre there once again proving just what it means to be the Scottish Warrior. He's going for the pin. This could be it. No, stops the count at two. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. Oh, good night. Will Drew 
close this out. of his career. Here is your winner, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre! So Farouk takes a loss here. McIntyre is no easy target. He battled for this win. And now he gets to enjoy the victory. Oh, yeah, I am pumped for this guy. The following contest is a test. Introducing first, from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Jeff Harvey! Ever since I took my spot here at the commentary table, I have wanted to call this match. I cannot wait to finally do it. The Viper is ready. And his partner from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 245 pounds, Randy Orton! A chill is in the air. The cold, calculated nature of Randy Orton is about to be on display. The Viper is a superstar who does not play well with others. Evil intentions in mind tonight, I can guarantee you that. Yeah, Orton always knows when to strike and when to strike first. Every generation, someone comes along who's simply so much better than everyone else. They just make it look easy. Randy Orton is that someone. 
He was born into greatness. And here they come. And at a combined weight of 446 pounds. The tag team division here has never been more competitive. Every team needs to deliver an emphatic message each week. And the bell is rung getting this tag match started. When you think of tag teams that are itching to make an impact on tonight's event, you don't have to look any further than these two. Two teams with a desire to steal the show. The power on the Falcon Arrow. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Executed arm drag. He's in off the tag. Isolating their opponent's arm and oh! Oh, stop right to the hand. You want to control the tempo, you want to dictate the pace. That right there is how you do it. The stomp in every single part of his body. Practically never-ending blows coming at full force here. Delivers the cross body. Off into the pin. Two. One. Oh, he kicked out. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Got the tag. Got the tag. Close line. Well, that'll leave a mark. What a drop kick. That maneuver goes to show you how much speed kills. Flying forearm connects. Oh, he retaliates. Oh, oh, oh. Sweep of the leg, good counter. Turning the tables. coming set up in the corner of the ring that's a hold of the arm a chop for good measure not done yet and what agility nice arm drag agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room denied via a wicked punch to the stomach Did you see that? Working the arm and then a kick right to the ribs. Tag! Randy Orton with the tag. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. Measuring. Oh, face stop. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. 
Great trouble here. Can he get it fully locked in? Camel Club. All right, now he's looking for any way to break out of this, and he does. He's been placed in the corner now. Orton gets the better there. And Orton gets countered there. Caught him right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Face first in the turnbuckle. Oh, you can tell he's feeling. What are they going to do here? Closing moments, maybe this matchup. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Shadow Machine! Orton is done! Makes the cover! He keeps his team in the match. Yikes! Reversal! What a counter! Able to parry that one. Makes him pay with a counter! Uh-oh. The Viper connects. DDT by Orton. Ah, oh, look at this. Just cranking it out. Just cranking the head. Somehow, these superstars just keep upping the ante. And yeah, no one is backing down now. Not after everything they've been through. was set on teaching Orton something there. Bang! Drop kick! Orton able to counter. And just eating a knee on the reversal. Randy Orton... That should do it right there! No! A two count! I am shaking my head in disbelief. Oh, maybe not! Maybe not! No! He gets the shoulder up! This is going to come down to who wants it more. Kick right to the back of the leg. Down on the jaw. You bite your tongue with that. Look at this. Kneeling. This match may be nearing its limit. Holding on by a thread, maybe even less at this point. Reaches his partner for the tag. Precise aiming on that basement drop kick. Oh my gosh, what impact. Good timing with that reversal. Comes in off the tag. Oh, man! Tag! This precision teamwork. Oh, and Enziguri! Vicious right forearm. Wrenching the arm. Driven all the way down for a European arm breaker. Placing them into the corner. A unique offense in store here. Dragon Sleeper applied. Oh my God, from the top rope. Dragon Sleeper locked in. Oh my God. Tag made, fresh man in. Reversal on top of reversal. Reversal! Can he take advantage? Tagged in. 
Boot to the mush. Effective way to counter any attack. Splash to follow. Pinning down their opponent's arm. And a carefully measured knee drop. Got their opponent set up. Oh, from behind. That'll give you some whiplash. And he sends him into the corner. Tags him in. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. What's he have here? Ah, oh, spike face first. One final blow away from not kicking out next time. He made it. Tag made. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Spy Buster. Thunderous. Cover. Two. Kicks out. He still has life. The fact that these superstars can still be moving at this point is beyond the realm of reality. Caught him right in the jaw. Oh, what a shot. This is truly awesome. Ouch. That's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. Getting set up for something in the corner. In the corner. Orton clearly rocked by a precise attack there. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Oh, you're a pit uppercut. Oh, nowhere. Capture perfect from Orton. What an interception. Dragon screw. We got a cover. Pin. He gets the kick out after the one. Be kidding me. Orton so evasive. Big clothesline. This could be the beginning of the end. Uh oh. The sharpshooter cinched in. The Viper is in. And he may have felt his grip slipping, so he releases the hold. Still was able to produce some considerable damage, though. Precision strike to the back of the neck. Carefully plays stomp to the arm. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Tag is good. Ooh, man, what a hit. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Caught him right. What are they going to do here? Closing moments, maybe this matchup. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Shadow Machine. Now that is the kind of move that wins matches. Fights out at two. How in the world did he kick out? Turning the tables there. Boom. With the tag is Randy Orton. The Apex Predator is showing no concern for his opponent. A big forearm connects. He must have had that scouted. Randy Orton, an ooh, nasty backbreaker. The Viper lined up his prey. We know what's next. Gets tagged in. Oh. 
The noise surging through this arena is ridiculous. And there's the cover. time victory for this tag team here tonight for my money these two just might be the best tag team on the roster today The animal has arrived. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one thumb. Making his way to the ring from Washington, D.C. Weighing in at 290 pounds, he is the World Heavyweight Champion, the We can list this man's accolades all day long. WWE Champion, a Royal Rumble winner, a man who has main evented WrestleMania, and now Batista simply demands that the WWE Universe give him what he wants. success both in the ring and in Hollywood which is insane because for some reason the WWE Universe has never appreciated Batista quite enough well no question about it Batista will demand the respect of the WWE Universe right here tonight Ladies and gentlemen, when you think of WWE, you think of John Cena. Loved by many, resented by some, but respected by all. And his opponent from West Snowbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, the WWE. Eliminate. 
Elimination Chambers, Money in the Bank matches, and the most WWE title reigns. He's also in the hearts and minds of the WWE Universe. As fickle as the audience can be at times, they know true greatness when they see it. We are witnessing greatness. Rival squaring off again as Batista battles John Cena, and really these two have been linked since jump. And yet some people think that Batista was chasing Cena, even though he found success in WWE and Hollywood earlier than John did. Big Dave does not accept second best very easily. You have to think he's not just coming for Cena's head, he's coming for his reputation. Ah, oh, look at this, just cranking it out. Cranking the head. Cena up the turnbuckles. Up high, cross body. I don't care how much you train, you can't prepare for a commercial airline to come crashing down on you like that. It's not over yet, plenty left to go in this one. Put it in a position now. Cena stays off the attack. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Big back body draw. You see the height on that? Batista's opponent seeing him as more of a molehill than a mountain right now. Oh, the reversal by Cena. Shoulder tackle. It's going to be crucial for Cena to get on top early. You don't want to be on the defensive against Batista. Yeah, you really can't afford to fall behind, Michael. The one thing you do not want to do in this match is be the first one to make a mistake. I think John Cena wants to put Batista away as quickly as possible. Look, I'll say this. As powerful as Batista is, it's difficult to match John Cena's brute strength. Whoa! Sunset flip power bomb. Now that's what you call impact. Ooh. Dangerous position here, guys. Oh no, 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 Back no. Suplex. Nasty. The hardest part of the ring. After that attack on the apron, there is no way we're seeing them leave this arena without medical assistance. Back suplex. Oh no. Face buster. There are plenty of ways battling in this area could end in serious harm. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Hard landing. Taking a few hard shots and John Cena looked a bit threadbare. The only word that comes to mind with them is aberration. Yeah, Corey, what started as a sporting rivalry has devolved into this all-out war we're seeing unfold here. Arm ringer, ooh, eats a big right. Big chop block, that'll stop you in your tracks. Slips out of the way there, what reflexes? Look at the power from Cena. Face first. Locks in the gut wrench. Suplex. Sight set on the top rope. From the top, the leader of the C Nation. Cena just brought down the hammer. Will he find a way to seal this one? That's got to be it. And the count doesn't even begin. Wow. Does he get him here? A defiant 
kick out after one. There is no quit in this man tonight. He reverses it. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Big time clothesline. Good grief. Stop after stop after stop. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Oh, a jarring back elbow. He's absorbing some tough hits now. Yeah, as Batista just unleashed on him. Could be a side of that. Batista with a patented Batista bomb. Match ending power. Two and a kick out. No one saw that coming. There is too much pride. There's too much hustle in John Cena. Not many people escape defeat after Batista gets to the sky. Big time elbow. He gets out of the way. What a monkey flip. <laughs> I love it. Batista and Cena firing on all. Cena has him up. Attitude adjustment. That can finish Batista off. No, he beats the count. Amazing. The animal refusing to stay down for the. Up high. Oh, coming down from way up top. Batista avoids impact. Monkey flip. Cena with a shoulder tackle. And in comes Big Match John. Don't throw a punch. Don't throw a punch. Oh, that never works. He's going for it all. What is Cena doing on the top rope? John Cena, you can't see. A uh, bear hug squeezing the breath out of them. See them. The bear hug cinched in. Gotta find a way out and catch your breath. Look at this. No quit whatsoever. Raining down elbows and escaping the bear hug. Oh, countered into a power slam. The admiration for these superstars is echoing throughout this arena right now. Dominating shoulder tackle. Reigns down an elbow in retaliation. There's some power behind that punch. Oh, he fights Batista back. Oh, what a punch. Caught by the back of the elbow. Precarious position for both superstars. Oh, gosh. A back suplex right out of the apron. And gets tossed back into the mat. We're going to tie his opponent up. STF is in. STF is in. An extreme amount of prep. Is there a way out of this, STF? Yes, there is. A couple elbows will do the job. Got him set up. This could be it, Corey. Batista bomb. Batista got off. Here is your winner, the enemy, Batista! Batista said when he lashes out, people get hurt. And that's what happened to John Cena. We just witnessed John Cena's nightmare.